Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Mother Mary vibes with you, Geminis. What do you got going on? Oh. Oh, Geminis. What's up with this with you? Which Gemini got going on? There's the Six of Swords. There's the Two of Pentacles. There's the Nine of Cups. Oh, my goodness. A lot of good ideas. A lot of inspiration energy here. Gemini switching it up, changing things up. I feel like astrologically you're getting like a blessings energy. So those of you who haven't paid attention to your favorite astrologer, uh, pay attention. Uh, Gemini's, we are ruled by Mercury, so, uh, retrograde, uh, is probably a blessing with you. Oh, Gemini's. Some of y'all are way too complex in energy. Uh, so I like that. Are you the complex one here, Gemini's, or is this just all this sort of complexity around you? So, do take what's yours and leave what's not, Gemini's. There's the Seven of Pentacles. There's the King of Cups. I feel like your intuition is definitely on point. There's the full, yeah. You shouldn't be all in all that sort of un, uh, it, stagnant energy. You need to be the unencumbered one. So, damn Geminis. Retrograde's been very good for you, or retrograde is being very good for you. Very beneficial. So those of you, if you're paying attention, uh, maybe more to your astrology, you could be looking at uh, your Mars, your Jupiter, uh, focusing on more than just the basics. Whatever this sort of inspiration is with you, Gemini's, because all of you are going to find inspiration in different sort of areas, uh, especially dependent upon what your sort of uh, beliefs are. Some of you, the spiritual aspect of that, I like. I don't know how much... It feels more religious than what it does spiritual uh, with regard to you, Gemini. So some of you with your relationships or partnerships, religion could be a factor in that. And that is, you know, that's one of those areas that just kind of, it is what the fuck it is. And uh, a lot of conversations on that. A lot of growth. A lot of, uh, this is beautiful manifesting energy as well, Gemini's. So do be mindful of your manifesting. Some of you are definitely coming across as really fucking stingy. Uh, I like that for you, Gemini's, because it, it's kind of uh, the energy that it needs to be. So if you're feeling a little bit more reserved or you're just, uh, you're far more, I don't know, whatever this sort of inspiration you got going on over here uh, that brings about some beautiful manifesting. Uh, King of Swords, yeah. <laughs> Those of you, if you're doing like chakra healing or you're looking into yoga or something different with you, Gemini's. Some of you could be looking at things from a different sort of a religious aspect or a different sort of spiritual aspect. Or some of you could be learning to trust your instincts more. A lot of growth and a lot of education when it comes to you too, Gemini's. So now's an interesting time to work on what you need to work on. There's a lot of secondary or unnecessary vibes. So time management for you is something that's going to be rather important or something that you're going to be paying attention to. The astrology on something. You're like the indifference energy here. So damn Gemini's. Some of y'all's readings want to get way too overly complicated and you don't need that overcomplicated energy. Grounded in focus. There's a, it's a nice placid sort of lake behind. There's the two of swords. Trusting your instincts. This is almost like a good sort of uh, relaxation energy as well. So, damn Gemini's. Those of you, if you pay attention to the uh, 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 earth weather, the astronomy, astronomy and astrology, so much uh, interesting things going on in both uh, because they both kind of go together, right? So, damn Gemini's. Queen of Pentacles. Someone is definitely sending you peace, love, and light. Are you paying attention to that? There's this unconventional lucky type vibe uh, as well with you, Gemini's. But it's, uh, what are you focused on? What are you paying attention to? And how is this energy kind of uh, 
For a lot of you, informing your decision making. Oh, I keep telling you it's you centric here, Gemini's. Uh, so, right? It's all about you. Over oh, top of that is that Six of Pentacle energy. Oh, wow, Gemini's. Oh, absolutely beautiful. But it shouldn't be overwhelming. The Mercury retrograde should actually be almost a rather calming sort of vibe with you, Gemini's. So those of you, if you're listening to like, uh, you like the sound of the waves, uh, you could be listening to things like uh, vibrationals. So uh, binaural beats, uh, Gemini's, some of y'all yoga, uh, chakra work. Uh, you could be doing uh, different things like that. Some of y'all Reiki. Someone is definitely sending you some peace, love, and light. I'm, I'm loving the, the Mother Mary vibes as well when it comes to you too, Gemini's. Um, so, damn. They're at that fucking Nine of Pentacles. Sweet Jesus, Gemini's. Interesting clearing work. Make sure you're staying grounded and focused as well with that Queen of Pentacles energy there, Gemini's. So that way, it's like be mindful of the sort of static energy. Uh, a lot of you, that stuck static energy as well. So, you know, if you're one of them people that uh, you're walking through your house and you shock yourself because you get that sort of static uh, energy built up, uh, making sure you're staying grounded and focused. Grounded and focused, yet in this sort of unencumbered energy as well. So, yeah, for fuck's sake, Gemini's. Take what's yours and leave what's not. Beautiful complexity. But it's not that complex for you. Two of Wands there with the Three of Pentacles. If religion is a factor, I don't feel like you're the one that's kind of stuck in that sort of uh, uh, vibe there, Gemini's. Some of you, the seriousness in which uh, relationships or partnerships, those of you that's had that conversation, I like this energy because once you pull this focus on you, Gemini's, it, it actually brings in better opportunities. Uh, where's the fucking positivity at when it comes to you, Gemini's? Some of you, I feel it's going to be a good working relationship or partnership before it's like a, uh, a romantic relationship or partnership with you. And I feel like that's almost two different sort of uh, vibes here with that Six of Pentacles. So. Absolutely beautiful. I love this for you, Gemini's. But damn. Let me upgrade you, Gemini's. Yeah, I don't feel like there's a whole lot uh, that you're really doing. Definitely be mindful of... Uh, uh, I hate to say the power of positivity, but where's the fucking optimism at, Gemini's? Where's the optimism at? Beautiful celebration energy by just going with the flow and trusting your instincts. There's as much friendship energy on this as there would be like romantic energy. So for a lot of you, that's like new, better opportunities, but not everything is like romance based. Some of you, it's uh, focusing on one thing and then allowing like better opportunities. A lot of upgrade energy as well on this uh, Gemini's, uh, which really makes the difference with you. Ooh. Interesting decision making as well. There's the Ten of Swords, there's the Virgo vibe, there's the Ten of Cups, and Archangel Michael energy. Then, of course, the Capricorn vibe. Your intuition is on point, your timing is on point, everything is, like, uh, on point with you. So, trusting your instincts here. So, well, for fuck's sake, Gemini's. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Temperance Angel.
Better options, better opportunities, better relationships or partnerships. There's this beautiful like healing vibe as well. So Gemini, some of you, if religion is a factor, maybe you're looking at it. Some of y'all could be uh, wanting to go to church or some of y'all could be changing up your religious beliefs. Um, for some of you, you could meet somebody who is a very religious person. Uh, meaning that, you know, they go to church every Sunday or their religion is a part of who they are. So with regard to the relationship or partnership, that's a factor in the relationship or partnership. And that just kind of is what it is, right? So damn Geminis. I don't know if this is a enlightenment with you, philosophical with you Geminis. I do feel like uh, astrologically, there's uh, some beautiful sort of blessings energy. So do watch your favorite astrologer, Geminis. Uh, I feel like Mercury retrograde should be very positive for you as well. Uh, very unique energy. So take what's yours and leave what's not, Geminis. What's the grounded focus energy with you? Healing work, throat chakra, uh, heart chakra energy, uh, Reiki, uh, meditation, yoga, Oh, for fuck's sake, Geminis. Absolutely beautiful. But it is definitely you centered and you focused. You centered and you focused. Some of you, I feel like good working relationships or partnerships before it goes like romantic with you. Because I don't feel like you're going to muddle up the energy and I, I you're going to focus on what's far more important to you as well. A lot of growth when it comes to you too. So definitely far more seriousness when it comes to relationships or partnerships with you, Geminis. This is doing a lot of the clearing work as well. I love when the Capricorn energy is there. It's uh, doing the shadow work. It's focusing on uh, the positives, the negatives. It's enlightenment energy. It's uh, philosophy, superstition, whatever your sort of take is on that, uh, Geminis. Bottom of the deck, seven of cups with the queen of wands. Ace of Pentacles. There's the Gemini vibe. There's the Aries energy. King of Wands. Nine of Wands. Yeah, some of you get stuck with this sort of relationships or partnerships. Nine of Wands there with the Five of Cups. Very indecisive. Uh, not really going anywhere. Not bringing about any sort of uh, real opportunities. Be mindful of the overly passionate connections as well, Geminis. Queen of Wands there with the Seven of Cups. There's the Ace of Pentacles. I love that you got Sagittarius here with the Gemini uh, vibes. So, some of you have regard to relationships or partnerships. A lot of choices, a lot of options. I do love this for you, Geminis. Uh, you choose your relationships, you choose your partnerships. The less complicated, the less cluttered the uh, energy is, the better decision making that you have. Some of y'all this quick King of Wands energy, you got Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, there with the Ace of Swords, there to the Six of Cups. Uh, some of you, now's not the time for that relationship or partnership. I feel like you got all this great energy around you. You just got to make like really smart choices and allowing that energy to just sort of focus on you. I love the Mercury vibes. So, Geminis, uh, you are ruled by Mercury. So, retrograde should be actually very good for you. It should bring about some definitely positive vibes. But, damn, you're going to have some fucking choices. Some of y'all are going to move through this energy. Some of y'all going to stay stuck. Where's the power of optimism? That, like, changes everything here. So, uh, yoga, meditation, Reiki, whatever you use to stay focused. Uh, definitely throat chakra, heart chakra, uh, some of y'all binaural beats. Some of you are definitely different from like a collective energy and the fact that that sort of static energy doesn't keep you stuck or stagnant. Those of you that pay attention to astronomy and astrology. So... There's so much complexity. I love this for you, Geminis, but the complexity isn't really all that complex for you. 
So it's a very comfortable energy for you. Where some would stay rather stuck or stagnant. This is actually like comfortable energy with you. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Do watch your favorite astrologer, uh, Gemini's. Religion, philosophy. I love that for you. A lot of blessings energy here as well. So, uh, Gemini's, uh, watch your favorite astrologer. Some of y'all with regard to a relationship or partnership, this King of Wands energy is Nine of Wands, Five of Cups. So now is not the time for that sort of relationship or partnership. So you're making the decisions here. So trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Damn. Take what's yours, leave what's not, Gemini's. Uh, I absolutely love this for you. But it shouldn't be overwhelming. It should not be overwhelming. You're feeling that overwhelming energy? Put focus back on you. Chakra work, Reiki, good massage. Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, and leave what's not Gemini's. Peace, love, and light. Like, share, subscribe.